Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode. Um, so, yes, let's go right into it. This is uh, a suggested wine. Uh, I had somebody ask me to do this one, specifically the Menage a Trois white wine from Napa Valley. Uh, this is the 2008 California white wine. Um, so it means actually the grapes can come from anywhere in California, but the company is in Napa Valley. So let's do a little rinsey. Let's do a little rinse. Try not to use other people's vernacular. Um, though I would have been using those if I'd been first. Anyway, uh, let's do a little rinse from yesterday's show. And then let's get right into the wine. This is a blend of Chardonnay, Moscato, and Chenin Blanc. So yes, another little white wine blend today from California. Ooh, this is this is neat, and it's, I guarantee this is all from the Moscato. Kind of fruity, kind of sweet. Um, I'm a little concerned it might be really sweet when I taste it, because, I mean, sweet wines are cool and all, but, but um, some of them I'm not always, I'm not always a fan of. Getting some, yeah, like I said, getting some fruits, some sweeter fruits. Maybe like apricot. Apricot or maybe like fig a little bit. So I'm much more impressed with the nose on this one just because I'm able to smell stuff. When I can't smell anything, I get really concerned and, and that, that there's something wrong, but some wines just, I can smell better than others. So let's taste it. This is pretty good. It's got enough of a little bit of sweetness to balance with the acidity in it. There, there's a bit of acidity. Um, you're getting that, I'm going to say probably apricot-ish fig, maybe a little, I want to say a little orange in there. I'm getting a little bit of that and, and just a, a tiny bit of acid, just, just enough to give you a, um, Just enough to give you a little bit of tartness to it. Um, it's real smooth. Oh, $9.99, by the way, World Market. I do forget sometimes to say that. Um, I'd say this is a this is a pretty decent wine. Um, I don't remember who suggested it, and I do have a list. It's on the iPhone, though this isn't the list, uh, but it's in my notes. So when I do go out, um, I look to see if there's anything on the list. Anyway, let's give this a rating. Um, I really do like this wine. I think it's... Uh, Man. I'm going to give it an 89. Solid wine. Um, I think it's well made. And uh, for, for 9 bucks, 10 bucks, I say you need to buy this wine. I know it's been uh, rated fairly well by a lot of people. It's from a uh, company called uh, Folie Adu uh, Winery, and this is their other label they have. So this is, usually, this is their um, lower cost label. And uh, Menage a Trois is. And then they have the Folie à Deux, uh, which is their more expensive wines. And I haven't had any of theirs yet, but hope to, hope to have them. But like I said, um, I do have a list. And what I do is when I go out and buy wine, I check the list. Ooh, I got something else real quick. So opening up a little more. Got a little spiciness. Almost like a jalapeno pineapple action going on. I'm really digging this. You know, it's one of those things where if you let wine sit out for a while, and especially once you pour it in the glass, it's really going to start opening up. You get, um, you start noticing stuff. But like I said, I do have a list. When I go out and buy wine, I look to see what the list has, if there's anything specifically that I can get. And um, so keep sending those suggestions. I know I got, uh, I got somebody that's been uh, asking, it seems like once a week about kosher wines. 
Definitely going to get those. Um, what, I, what I need to do is I really need to get through all the wines I bought for October. Uh, though we had some more wine come in. And uh, not a lot, but I had a few more bottles come in just because we were out and said, hey, let's try this. Um, but uh, definitely going to do that. Uh, I may not do it as a Hanukkah thing because I suggested that. He says, well, it's not really a Hanukkah thing, but maybe in November I'll get some, uh, uh, not Irish, Israeli wine, uh, kosher wine maybe. So we'll do that. Um, but I'll probably have to order that online. I'm not really sure in San Antonio. I'm sure I could find some here. Um, just have to hit some of the uh, better wine shops in the area. But uh, good wine, I do, I do suggest it. Um, Let's see what else. Uh, friend me up. Uh, like I said, I'm still doing this uh, despite what, uh, despite the announcement last Monday. Um, this is still going on. Sommelier School should be up Thursday. I'm probably going to do all the recording on Wednesday, but it'll probably be up Thursday. Um, we're going to cover Italy, and we're going to do, uh, just kind of do an overview of Italy, which I've been excited to do. I've been kind of, you know, really anticipating doing it. I've done all my research on it. I just haven't had a chance to write everything up and sit down and do the recording. Um, and, uh, yeah, click the links. You know, folks, just because I now I'm gainfully employed doesn't mean you can't, you know, a little, uh, excuse me, do a little uh, uh, HBO, a little help a brother out. Uh, got some, you know, I've got the affiliate ads going, so if you want to order some wine, uh, click those. I mean, there's some good stuff on these things, wine.com. Some cool stuff, Adagio T. You know, check out check out the ads, check out the ads, and uh, all that. If you want to uh, get your study on for a sommelier school, hit the library. You got some stuff on Amazon. You can buy on there. Um, highly suggest all that, and uh, or you can just leave a donation. Somebody's already doing it. Why don't you be the second person to give me some donations, and I'll uh, give you a little shout out. Um, the idea is to be able to pay for the wine and pay for the hosting. So uh, now that uh, I have more money coming in on the personal side, uh, hopefully we'll be able to buy a little bit more expensive wine, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, that's going to be it, and we'll see where we begin tomorrow. Give you a little preview of what it's going to be. Let's hope it's good. Have a good one.